Ricky here with Breaking Your Barriers, inspiring one person at a time. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a very important topic that has to do with your dreams, your goals, your passions, your desires, whatever it is that you've put on the sidelines, on the shelf that you are not yet achieving. And the reason I bring this up is because I recently ran into an 80 year older who was still doing amazing things in the field of entertainment. And when asked, why are you still doing this instead of being retired and just relaxing and sitting on a beach, drinking a tequila or whatever it is, his response was at 80 years old, I still have so much to do. When I heard that, I was like, wow. And he didn't even use that terrible line. I'm going to call it a terrible line. When people say I'm on borrowed time, we are not on borrowed time. We are blessed to have whatever time we have on this earth. So let's go ahead and take advantage of every single day that we're given. Regardless if we're 18 or 80, we still have so much to do. We need to live our lives as if it were the last day. And the reason why I bring that up is because today has to do with you taking your goal dream, desire off the sidelines, off the shelf, bringing it back into forefront, because whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. There's nothing that is holding you back except you. Nothing else. Anything that's external, anything that's circumstantial, anybody that tells you you can't do it has no control over what you choose to do or what you choose not to do. Ultimately, you have the choice. So when you think about those goals and those dreams that you put on the sidelines, I want you to think about it right now. What's keeping them on the sidelines? What did somebody tell you? What did somebody say to you? May it be somebody that was close to you. And the reason I'm bringing this up is not only for you, it's also for me. Why have I sidelined some of my own goals? What's keeping me from getting it out there on the field and into the game of life? What has sidelined me has been friends and family, and they unintentionally, unintentionally put my dreams and my goals on the sidelines. Oh, I don't know, Ricky, that's a, uh, you might want to lower your standards. Ooh, wow, you might want to drop your goal a few notches. Dang, are you smart enough for that? Are you gifted enough for that? Do you have enough money? Do you have enough education? Do you live in a good neighborhood? Do you live in a good country? Everything, everything I just mentioned, you've probably heard and I've heard from one time in your life or another. And sadly enough, it stumps our dreams dead in its tracks. And what's even worse than that, two viruses come into play that stop our dreams dead in their tracks even further. And these two viruses are within every single one of us. The two viruses are reasonitis and excusitis. An inflammation of reasons and excuses and ways of confirming or reaffirming why we haven't achieved our goals in the first place. We're finding logical reasons to support why we haven't achieved our dreams. Every single one of us is guilty of that. Even those who have succeeded to the point we want to reach have run into these obstacles as well. What's beautiful is success is open to anybody who is willing, willing, to put in the work, willing to put aside the excusitis and reasonitis, willing to go through short-term pain for their long-term gain. Whatever it is that you wanna achieve in your life, you can achieve it, you can achieve it. And the reason I say you can is because me, I never expected myself to be a speaker. I never expected to be a keynote speaker or a motivational speaker. I was a troublemaker back in my youth. I was in trouble with the law. I was in trouble with gangs. I was in trouble with law enforcement. Here I am today speaking in front of you, never in my wildest dreams that I ever expect to be speaking about this kind of a subject, having to do with chasing your dreams and your goals. And the reason that's important is because if someone like me with my background, my experience, my troubles can get through it, I didn't have the highest of educations. I didn't live in the greatest neighborhoods. I didn't have a boatload of money. What I did have was a desire. And most importantly, I had a wonderful group that was supporting me what, every step of the way, actually. And when I say supporting me, I'm talking about people I have run into in my life. And those people, of course, they include my family. That's a given. But I've run into people who have changed my life significantly from the beginning. For example, my band teacher, 
who has nothing to do with me or has any reason to even care about me. This guy gave me love unconditionally regardless of how I treated or mistreated him. And that's the reason why I always give him praise every single time I speak. If you hear me talk about my band teacher, yes, that's you, Mr. Mitt. Mr. Mitt, you're an awesome guy. And wherever you are, I pray that you hear this message because I just want to say thank you. Now, getting back to it, the people who've inspired you, you need to find those people. You need to support surround yourself with these kind of people and you will ultimately reach your goal but you need to do the most important thing you need to you need to get rid of that stinking thinking which is oh i'm not good enough i'm not smart enough i don't have enough money i live in a horrible neighborhood i have a horrible background i've done this i've done that i've done this i've done that i've done this i've done that once you get rid of that stinking thinking and do one of the most important thing which is believe in yourself when you believe in yourself that is the start because everything starts with a choice and before you choose to take any actions like picking up an instrument that you've always wanted to play learning about finance or whatever it is in your business opening up your own business before you do anything of that nature the biggest decision and the biggest choice you're gonna have to make starts right here and right here your mind and your heart, your mind and your heart. And when you get passionate about what it is you want to do in the first place, which you had passion, that's the reason why that itch keeps coming back. I Can I still do it? Can I still do it? Yes, you can. Just like the book says, dreams have no deadlines. And I, I forgot the author of that book, but it's an awesome book. And then of course, one of the other books that I've read is The Magic of Thinking Big. Make sure your dreams, your goals, your desires, and your passions are big. Make sure that they're big. You only have one life to live. Why would you want to shoot for mediocre? Don't shoot for mediocre. Shoot for the stars and you will hit a very high point along the way to your journey towards the stars. Other than that, my hope for you is that you take your dreams and your goals off the sidelines. You realize that you are worth it. You are worthy. You do believe in yourself and you find people who believe in you as well because you're going to find that you will have that you will have that support team it doesn't have to be at home it can be a stranger for all you know they could say one thing and bam switch you they'll switch your thinking to that positive thinking now i hope everything i've shared with you makes sense and when you do get back into the game pull your dreams and goals back into that field off the sidelines and you succeed, please leave me a message because that would be the most exciting thing. We'd love to share it first and foremost and possibly get you as a guest because you've overcome your challenges, your adversities. Until the next video, don't ever put your dreams and your goals on a sideline. Keep succeeding.